Hello everybody, Betts Golden. Today I thought it would be fun to make a shaker ATC card. I actually learned this technique at the um, mixed media convention in July in Utah. Um, it was being done by Sizzix unit, their Sizzix, um, oh what is it, <laughs> the Sizzix booth and it was really cool and so they actually did it in a card and I'm gonna do it in an ATC so what we're gonna start with is um, this spooky type ATC digital download there's like nine on them and I'm gonna pick one I'm thinking I'm gonna use that one and then I'm going to let me take this out of the cargo sleeve use the trick-or-treat set from Brutus Monroe and I'm gonna use the little witch I want to keep this predominantly black and white so I'm not going to add any color to her. So the first thing that I need to do is prepare my base which is going to be a piece of white flat cardstock. Mine's Brutus Monroe and then I'm going to attach it and just get my signature on the back. So let me go ahead and cut this out. I actually am using something else I got there which is a cutter putter I believe is the name. This thing is amazing. Watch this. So when you use this you flip the switch and the light comes on and so you can see, you can't really see with the video, exactly where you're cutting. It gives you like a perfect line of where you're cutting. And then when you cut it, the blade is uh, never needs to be sharpened. So you just kind of push it in and it cuts exactly where it was supposed to cut. It is pretty freaking amazing I love this thing so if you print something off sometime and your image doesn't quite like it runs through the printer wrong and you're like oh man go ahead and get one of these because you can just put it on here and this light this LED light right here I don't know if you guys can see that will show exactly where you will cut. It is so freaking awesome. So anyway, I just wanted to share that. No, they don't endorse me. I'm not on, I had to pay for this. Didn't get it for free. I'm not just, you know, telling you that because I'm trying to sell you a product. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I need to specify that because I do tend to sound like a commercial when I have a, a good product that I like. I know, I'm sorry. So I'm just going to cut out this image and the reason why I want this little house is it just looks kind of spooky and I just envision a little witch living there, you know? So, and this thing cuts so freaking smooth and the fact that I never have to replace the blade, I don't have to worry if I'm going to lose it, makes it all worth it. So let me go ahead and an ATC and then there also is down here. Um, the measurements so I can use that if I hold put it flush I'm gonna go ahead and cut my ATC card down it has to be two and a half by three and a half just like a baseball card and like a baseball card you have your art on the front and then you have the stats of who you are on the back and on this one I'm just gonna sign the back with a sharpie because um I don't really I'm gonna make sure this fits all right yeah I don't really want to um, put, I don't, I don't have, I don't want to, I can't find my stamp. Who am I fooling? I'm totally lying. I can't find my stamp and I've been looking, so I'm just going to write down my name on the back in gold because I'm Bet's Golden and this is one of one. Um, usually you can write a title. I've noticed that people aren't really doing that much, so I'm not gonna. So anyway, the first thing I do before I hear it is I'm gonna go ahead and just ink the edges sloppily with the Raven Detail Ink by Virtus and Row again. Okay, and then I am going to put my image on. And I'm just using my ATC gun to run this. Oopsie. All right, like I said, I want to keep it black and white cuts. I'm going to do something 
in it. Now, I was thinking about putting some of this in there too, because I do think that that would look really cool. Do you guys know what this is? This is actually for my my um my son's fish tank of all things. Um, it's netting for a fish tank. It's plastic, and it really it's really hard to adhere if you don't heat set it and have it kind of melt into the paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on top because of how this is gonna go into um, the, you'll see, the shaker card, how I'm gonna make the shaker. So, actually, I'm gonna measure this out as well, I think. This is the fun part. From here, we are going to add in, we're going to put it in our card first, and we're going to add our image last. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to straighten this out as much as possible, and I'm just going to take a regular ATC card holder that you can fold over on the back because you definitely want to seal this on the back. And we're just going to slap this on in here. I'm not going to use any adhesive on the netting just because um, I really don't care if it slides around a little bit in there. And I don't really think it's going to slide around much. You know, I might change my mind. It might not work. I don't know. So much of my stuff is trial by error, you know? Okay, so, and it did work. I am gonna trim a little bit of that off. It's a little bit too bulky. So let me take a little bit of it off. And it's not gonna be perfect. It's the beauty of when you're working on spooky stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect. I could ink this in black if I wanted to, but I kind of like the white. And it's kind of hiding that house too much, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut away some of that as well. And the first thing I'm going to add in is some fun gold sequins. This is why I want to keep this black and white, because this is where I'm kind of adding the va va boom. Oops, and I got in one in there that's not even supposed to be in the package. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here's some gold sequins. And then from here, I'm going to add some glass fillers. that are clear. All right. And then I'm going to add that I'm excited about this. This is called Gremlin Bottle Cap Sequence and it is by Brutus Monroe. I like it because not only is it such a cool concept and that they look like bottle caps and these literally look like gremlin skin I'm not even lying like green gold kind of a grungy green it's so cool but look it's it like on the top of it it's like a ziplock so I don't have to worry about storing it so let me add some of this Pretty cool. Just trying to debate on if I really like that or not. You know, I don't. I think I'm going to take it out and I'm just going to snip off a little bit, pieces of it, and put it in there and include it as part of the shaker.
If you even had like a um, mesh, that'd be good too. Okay, so there it is. I love it. So cute. Now from here, I am going to go ahead and seal it, but I'm actually going to run my ATC gun on it over it again because I really need it to be secure and sealed. The last thing we want is this opening. And I could even run some washi tape back there. Okay, so the shaker portion of this card is done. Now let's add our fun little image. So I am going to take these and um, my foam mat. Again, I've told you guys before. If you, uh, this is by Daris, D A R I C E. It comes in a big, huge thing for $8. You can use your coupons at Joanne to get it for um, $4, and it's huge. And this is actually just one piece. I can cut six or eight pieces off of it. Um, and it's to, it will help your, your clear images just go on beautifully, and you'll be able to see all of the detail. It's really quite wonderful how it works. And then, if you can't find this, because sometimes this is hard to find, this took me some time to find another one, go ahead and go into your kids' department and buy one of their foam pads, the foam sheets. They run like a buck. So, uh, and that works just as fine. So, I'm going to ink up the image in Raven. And again, I'm using the Witch. Really want to get a good ink on her. And I really probably should have done this on the Misty that I have my stamp platform, but um, I wasn't thinking. All right, so she's pretty well inked up. So let's see how this image goes on. Oh, perfect. Isn't she cute? All right, now I'm going to cut the fussy cutter out. I know we don't like that word. It's a bad word. Okay, so I have my little witch. Cut her out. There she is, and now I am going to place her right here on the front of this, kind of off in the corner. And I'm gonna use my craft glue um, on this simply because I think it'll hold a little bit better than if I used my ATC gun. I could use just my tape runner, uh, but I kinda, I just think that this will hold kind of better and it dries clear. So if any of it gets on the outside, it's not the end of the world. Got my fingers on it. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna just put her right there. And as you can see, a little bit got over and that's okay, it'll dry clear, but you get the gist. And this is my little spooky witch shaker card and she is all done and ready to be traded. So, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Hit that like button if you liked it. Please leave me any comments that you may have, suggestions or questions. I always love to hear your feedback. And until next time, happy crafting!